patients with spinal injuries experience the sensation of walking again through this robotic suit. This 32-year-old patient is just one of the 18 trial participants funded by not-for-profit organization, the Walking with Brandon Foundation. It's the first randomized controlled trial looking at the effects of robotic rehabilitation versus exercise-based uh, rehabilitation. The study is six months long and then what we're measuring is things like walking ability, muscle activation, psychology, so their mindset is a very important one, and things like circulation, body compositions. Evan says specific criteria is used for selecting participants. So we ideally target people who can't afford the service and the criteria is that you have a cervical incomplete spinal cord injury. So you must have had an injury to your neck and have some type of muscle movement below the level of your neck but still be wheelchair bound. He hopes the trial will change the face of rehabilitation in South Africa. At the moment there's very little outpatient rehabilitation but it's not enough to continue the recovery process. So what we're trying to offer is a centre where you can continue your recovery months, years after your injury and we want to offer hope and the facilities and knowledge to basically provide for those individuals who otherwise would likely sit at home and do nothing. Final results of the trial will be released next year. RT Narsi, Cape Town.